Hi everyone, it's Diana Marchand from Raw Foods Made Simple. Today I'm going to make something that, well, is not completely raw, but uh, it's a really quick, fast thing that you can make, and you can also store it in your fridge for a few days. You can make quite a few of them. These are rice wraps. Now rice wraps, the rice wraps themselves can be found at grocery stores or Asian stores, but definitely at most grocery stores. Um, this is just kind of what they look like. So they come in a package in different sizes too. You can find small ones. These are the larger ones, kind of, well, the medium actually. Now, what you need is, of course, you need the rice wraps. You need some water that's warm. This is hot. I actually had filtered water in here and then I just turned the stove on a bit on warm and got the water quite warm because it has to soften this. Then you have some cut vegetables, whatever you want to put in them. I've had kind of some greens here, cabbage, cucumber, yellow bell peppers, I have cilantro, avocado, shredded carrots, and I have some mung bean sprouts. So that's what I'm gonna put in mine. Now you can put anything you want in yours, just like you would with a wrap. So now you can wrap them singly with one rice wrap, but I find that they tend to tear. So I'm going to do two. Now what I do is I put them into the water. I put one down and then another one on top. And then what you want to do is you just want to get them soft. So if you have super hot water, for one, it's going to be really hard for you to get your fingers in there. It's also going to heat them up too much and you'll see them start to curl. Um, so you don't want that to happen. So you want water that you can at least put your fingers in, but that's hot enough so that they will get soft. The longer they stay in there, the softer they'll get. So you don't want them crunchy at all. So you want to kind of wiggle them around a bit and make sure that they're starting to get soft enough so you, they're pliable, not too soft. Okay, there, see as you see, they're now wiggly. I can wiggle it, I've got both of them together. I'm gonna put them on, I have a big cutting board here. I'm laying down on the cutting board. Now I'm just gonna, this is a tea towel, I'm just taking the excess damp water off. So here you wanna be as fast as you can because they stick really bad to the cutting board. So put your ingredients, kind of keep them a little bit lower. You want the, you're going to roll up the sides so you don't want the sides. So you're going to kind of put everything in the middle. So whatever order you want to put things in. I'm just putting my veggies right on top. Cucumber. Cabbage. I also have some kale. And then I love avocado in them. You can also, if you have a sauce or a pate, you can put that in here. Um, you can put the sauce right in instead of dipping it, but we're gonna make a dipping sauce after. So here's my ingredients right here. I roll up the end, of course fold over, wrap as much as you can. This takes practice. Then you're gonna fold the sides. I think you're folding a present. So the sides are in. And then I'm just going to roll it. And you can be quite tough if you have two at a time like this. They hold really well. They don't break. So there. And it will stick because this rice paper is really sticky. So after you roll it up, it'll stick. So this is a fat roll. Anyway, so this is your rice roll. I'm going to make a few here. But this is one. So you can change what you put in each one if you want. You can roll one with the sauce, pate, whatever. They will stick together, they will store in your fridge for probably two to three days, except if you have a sauce in it, it may be a bit shorter. So this is a rice roll, it's a great thing to add, like I said, you can make it on a Sunday night and have a few as the week goes on. So there you go for the recipe, you can visit rawfoodsmadesimple.com.